Hi, on this video we will discuss how to append the newly added comment by the user to the list of the previous comments asynchronously using JavaScript and ASMX file. So let's go ahead and start. At the beginning and as a preparation step, I will go to our model one file and add the user's table, finish, close and save. The idea is, if you inspect any comment here, any comment is located inside the div element that has a class of div comment. All of the comments located inside the div element, which located inside a div element that has the ID of panel brief comment. So the idea is to copy, so copy, let's first edit as HTML, control A, control C. The idea is to copy one of the div elements as a typical comment, just in order to make sure that we have already copied pure HTML code instead of copying it from design.aspx, then go to the design.js and locate the save comment. This is a save comment function. After posting the comment at the current moment, the user will get an alert that his comment has been saved successfully. From now on, I want the newly added comment to be added to the list of the comments here at the top. So in order to do that, I will delete this line and I will define a new variable called new comment for example. And this variable will be equal to jQuery, the jQuery factory here. Let's paste our HTML code and let's modify the following. So at the beginning this dev has to be prefixed with a quotation mark. Then at the end there is another quotation as well. And this is a user rate and the user rate div element actually for this div element specifically I prefer to go to the design.aspx and copy it from here this way we will make sure that we copy the raw div element before applying the rate plugin to it class user rate I will copy it as it is and paste it here control V but let's add a plus sign at the beginning quotation user rate and the data dash rate should be equal to remember the rating here that we have defined earlier okay so let's type here rating plus sign rating plus sign and then continue the code okay at the end there is a quotation then move to the new line plus sign quotation the profile image has a source this source is equal to something that we should retrieve from the server temporarily I will write here profile plus and there is a quotation at the end the same thing will happen for the username I will add a plus sign here and by the way the comment ID here the data ID here should also be set to something called temporarily I will type here comment ID and later we will see how to retrieve the, com the real comment ID from the server plus quotation and, the and at the end there is one quotation only and the same thing will be done here plus quotation span the ID is irrelevant here class equal label username ok then quotation plus let's type temporarily full name then plus sign quotation and quotation and so on and this is how the new comment element should look at the end so the comment here is a comment body and this is the title and this is the rating however we still need to know what is the full name of the current user his picture and the comment ID so in order to do that let's go to the web services gws.asmx and on the add comment method let's add the following after saving the comment let's dim 
comment id equals user comment dot comment id and then comment data equals and add the following link expression from c in db dot comments join u in db dot asp net users on c dot user id equals u dot id where c dot comment id equals to comment id select new with and mention the fields dot comment id will be equal to c dot comment id and dot full name should be equal to u dot first name and space and u dot last name then the picture equals u dot picture and it's very important here to mention that that the final output is just a single record now let's dem js as new javascript serializer context dot response dot write js dot serialize comment data okay now let's go back to the design.js and we are expecting from the function here to return with comment info for example the next step will be to cast the comment info to a json object so var my comment equals jquery dot parse json the comment info actually let's uh, rebuild our project and test out the output of this method so let's rebuild then go here and click on the add comment method and let's type any data the design id 3 rating 4 title 1 anything and click on the invoke this is the return json includes the comment id the full name and the user picture okay now let's go back to our design.js instead of comment id i will type here my comment dot comment id and instead of picture my comment dot picture my comment dot full name and so on okay now what will happen after we have created this element after we create this element we should append it actually we should prepend it not appending it because we want the newly created comment to be at the top so instead of append it i will prepend it to the father dev element directly under its dev child now let's save all and refresh our page okay now let's type anything here test comment test for example let's add a rate and let's click on ok ok fine but we have two issues here however the first issue is that the profile picture is not displayed the second issue is that the rate is not displayed about the profile picture if you right click inspect it you will find here that there is a tilde sign so the tilde sign is not a valid html we should replace so dot replace the tilde and it's followed slash with nothing and about the rating since we only have a plain div element with no contents at all we should apply the rating plugin to this div element in order to apply the rating plugin to this div element 
as you might remember from the previous lesson, I have already created a function that applies the ready plugin over each div element that has a class user rate applied to it. So all what we have to do here is simply invoke the function. Now let's save all and try it again. Let's type any comment. Give a rate. Bingo! This is the user picture, this is the rate and everything works as expected. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please press like.